All right, guys, the Immortal Hulk issue number eight, that's what we're going to do. Uh, it seems that people are liking my, um, uh, my Immortal Hulk reviews because I get a lot of views and I like that. So I decided to do a couple of more um, and see where this is going, right? And uh, if people are interested, just, just let me know, you know, leave a comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notification, all that YouTube jazz. Mm -hmm. Get some shilling here. So without further ado, uh, let's dive in. This is Alex Ross cover. These are the guys that work on that. And uh, yeah, this is actually what happened to the Hulk. And uh, so the first thing that is a negative for me is exactly this. I hate this with a passion. I've seen in a lot of comics, black pages with stuff like this. Is this is this something that made me want to feel something or something? Something or something that came out wrong. But you know what I mean. Nobody looks at this and, and you know, try to read it. You know, you, you look at it and one second later, you move on to the next. This is... Not necessary, in my opinion. Just give me art. I pay for this book. I want to see art, not this crap that we're going to see every time. So I thought to myself, okay, we're going to see some uh, some inside pages, right? Now, the first is going to do is some Miles Morales, the coolest Spider-Man. Yeah, right. Not going to happen, dude. And so finally, we get to go to the, the main story. So this is an uh, adamantian scalpel. The hydraulic arm was mounted on cost $7 million dollars. There was only four in existence. It could bend titanium like paper. So they are splitting the heart of the Hulk in mid into the middle. And then they are studying it. Right? And then when the day is over, they wield it back to join the rest of him. And uh, so we have a double, double page here. And uh, because it's night, right, the Hulk is getting active again. And then the heart is starting to beat, although cut in half, right? And uh, this guy, who's a weak, pathetic guy, I want to say soy boy, I mean, you know, uh, is uh, very interested in it. He's basically responsible for this, all right? So we see Hulk here in jars, and uh, he says, I mean, look at you, trying to talk with no air in your, uh, in your lungs. No lungs. Size isn't your specialty, isn't it? So he gives them the middle finger. Charming. Um, now, someone had me his heart. I want to play with it a little while. So it seems that he wants to experiment, but then it seems uh, that the, the heart is regenerating, become whole again. Good as new, dead meat on the table, alive again when it's near him, and it heals, regenerates. I have questions. Do you have questions, Charlene? Why not full regenerations? Uh, psionic mink, maybe autonomic control over the individual cells. Nope, zero psi activity. Plus, plus he had this hippolytamon was destroyed and came back from that. I forgot to look that up. Uh, I want to know what it is, so I'm doing it afterwards. I can you not give what hip that word is? <laughs> maybe you can Google it yourself. But anyway, so um, so this guy talks about rules and how to break them. And yes, there's also this guy that. Uh, Banner, uh, well, the Hulk tangled before. Was it the first issue? I believe so. It was the second. I forgot already. Anyway, uh, ads. And then on the Alpha Flight Space Station, <laughs> I think this, I still think it's silly. So we have Carol here about the fact that they lost the Hulk by giving him to the, the government authorities. Um, Thaddeus Ross denies all knowledge. General Fortian, the man who requested the mission, cannot be found, she says. Requested for information, all missed files. Washington contacts are fired or reassigned without rhyme or reasons. Banner has vanished into a sea of deliberate obfuscation. So did the U.S. government lose the Hulk or kidnap it? No, uh, Carol, you did lose the Hulk. Why? Because the Avengers took in the Hulk because it was your mission, right? And then you gave it to uh, a, a general, Fortian, who did, you know, that you didn't even do background checks. I mean, you are in the military, right? Isn't that your, your field? Don't you do background checks before, you know, give away the most dangerous man on earth or one of the most dangerous people in any way, the world breaker? You just give him to an unknown general and says, well, here you go. <laughs> bye bye and now you think well wh where could Bruce Banner be who could have done this <laughs> well it's your fault Carol 
as always. Anyway, so we have um, Walter here in this ridiculous outfit. I mean, was there as a a comic with with uh, Miss Marvel that called the Miss Marvel core or something like that, and all these people that dress up in these ridiculous costumes? What happened to that? Oh, it was canceled because nobody liked it and nobody read it. Anyway, so move on. Um, so this reporter is, uh, you know, collecting data. And uh, so basically they want to uh, know where he is. So, um, and, and Walter says, um, hey, maybe we can, uh, she says, maybe we can locate him again. Um, and if his gamma signature hasn't changed, for all we know, he can alter it at will. We still don't really know what Bruce is capable of when he cornered or wounded. And if this horror has taught me anything, it's that gamma mutation can never be predicted. Well, you're the expert. So he says, she says, uh, you're uh, back on duty. But then he says, well, I, I'm not Sasquatch anymore. But then she says, well, we need your uh, gamma expertise. So, <laughs> so, what they, <laughs> so what they are going to do, they changed the alpha flight name into to gamma, to gamma flight. <laughs> Why? I mean, Alpha Flight is a super name, a superhero group, right? Why change it into Gamma Flight? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it, if, if the Avengers battled the Hulk, did they call themselves the Gamma Avengers or whatever? No, they are calling themselves the Avengers. Why? Why? Oh, my God. So back to the lab. So uh, this guy uh, is talking to Fortian, and he has an argument with him because... Uh, no, General, I don't think that's funny. It's the last thing we need. Do we still have leverage on Lomkowski? Could we force Danvers to back off? Overplaying our hand. General, come on. No, I'm not raising my voice to you, sir. I was just... No, 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 I don't want to go back to prison. I'll proceed as ordered. Thank you, General. So, um, anyway. So this woman says, what's the problem? Danvers gave a press conference yesterday evening. She's putting a spotlight on us. And then Fortune response is to go dark. Cut our ties, use the black funding stream to relocate. So she said, what relocate? But it, it takes days. So they, anyway, they need to do it, right? They have no choice. So he looks at um, the Hulk again. Now this is going to be fun. So you, have, you think that's funny? That your superhero buddies want to make life difficult? Difficult for you, my friend. Everything we've done to you here, that was just a start. Now, what, what happens now is we ship these pieces to you, to our other side. Study them cell by cell. Cut that smile off you. Slice down to, to the bone. And maybe, maybe we'll pop one of your eyes, huh? Like a, like a water balloon. Rip out the others. See what grows back. And the Hulk is laughing. Um, needless in your, your tongue end. We're going to, to you. We're experimenting with you, moron. What's wrong with you? What's so funny? So he's losing it. So the Hulk... We're going to return you into. We're going to turn you into a weapon. Learn all your secrets, how your heart beats, how your fingers move, all of it. And then he's doing this, right? We're going to find exactly what you can do. Oh God, you let us do this. You wanted us to test to you, to test you, because if we know what you can do, so do you. So he snaps his fingers, and I must say, this looks great. The next page. So we see some body horror here. So his body parts fall on the ground. Looks great. Not only that, the next one is even better. So he re he reassembling himself. And he takes this guy with him. He says, please, I'm sorry. Look at this gorgeous shot. Amazing. Uh <laughs> Looks great. Oh my god. So Hulk says, uh, basically, he says, Sorry, he says, Not sorry enough. You wanted science. You wanted a set of rules from me. Big mistake, see? Science is the other guy. And when you hurt him, I'll take it personal. So he grabs his coat. And so this woman comes in. The Hulk is gone. Going back to Gamma Flight. Uh, so they are still talking about where he might be, a uh, bunch of gibberish. And uh, so Walter says, I get it, uh, Romes. Let me know if you do find something, okay? Um, adds. So Walter, you know, cannot find him. And then he thinks, well, uh, I could use your help. He's talking to the reporter here. Um, I mean, you've been chasing the Hulk across the country for months now. 
sure, but not as whatever this gamma flight is. Exactly. Exactly. What is this gamma flight? Uh, but are you right now a superhero, a secret agent? I'm a reporter. I can be the story. Uh, so be an embedded reporter. So this is a way to get the story, Jackie. I, I uh, know you still got questions for him. Well, that may be true, but what is her, what is her deal? I mean, what can she do what you can't, Walter Lankowski? We might never know. Anyway, uh, so the Hulk is breaking out in uh, New Mexico, I guess. And uh, yeah. And then he transforms back into Bruce Banner because it's, it's daytime. I like this transformation, by the way. I mean... Uh, you know, I know the transformation from the TV series, from the comics, from, you know, the 90s and the 80s was always cool, right? But this is more, you know, a body morphing horror like creepy stuff. Um, Banner uh, felt queasy, infected. There was a terrible certainty in his gut that had a long held line has been crossed. The Hulk has taken a life. For a moment, he thought he heard his father's voice. Laughing from everywhere at once. All right. I like this a lot. You know, there's not without his problems. This whole gamma flight thing needs to go ASAP. Dump Carol Danvers. Nobody cares for her. Um, so, yeah, I, there's something. I mean, what made Hulk so, you know, he who he is now? What happened to him? Um, you know, because he couldn't do this thing before. He can regenerate health a lot, right? But he couldn't do, you know, this. Absolutely not. So I wonder if that's going to be explained. For now, I think it's interesting and uh, I want to know more. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this. I'll see you on the next time. Bye-bye.